We are back. We're back in action. It might not have looked like it, but I haven't filmed in the last six weeks. Uh, obviously, we filmed the aftermath after the shoot. We had just had a pretty intensive few months of prepping, but also launching the YouTube channel, filming once or twice a week. So took a little bit of a break. Um, we've obviously had that content rolling out in the meantime, but we are now kicking off the new series, which I'll reveal the name for in a minute. And the goal here is to A, track my gaining phase, go through exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, how I'm finding it. Essentially the same thing as we did with the prep, but throughout this, this gaining phase now. And then B, I'm gonna start going through a few more behind the scenes clips in terms of my own coaching business, client work, and things that I'm doing from that standpoint as well. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Let's kick it off. Heavy. We are back. Right, Smith. Floor press next. Oh, so let's update you on the life of Ryan since the shoot. So we're fairly busy. I had a couple of holidays booked directly after the shoot. So I went to Budapest and then a couple of weeks later I went to Spain, which was really nice. I spent some time with Yasmin, spent some time with her family as well. Uh, in between then, I have to move house once and we're gonna move house again in three or four weeks time. Uh, so things have been a little bit all over the shop and just to sort of deal with that situation, I've just been keeping ticking over as best as possible with my training. Um, and just getting through that busy period and accepting the fact that that was never gonna be the best, most productive period of time for growth for me. It was more so just a case of me managing that post shoot, getting myself back into a healthy, stable position to the point where now I can settle down, settle back into a really decent routine. My body composition's back into a decent place. Everything's back into a perfect position to now move into the gaining phase, which I wanna say is officially starting now and uh, hence why we're we're going to document from today so we have an update from there This floor press is gonna be a staple in the program moving forward, I think. In terms of the rationale behind it, just being able to load this movement in a very stable environment, not only are we using the Smith machine, which obviously takes that away, but we're also doing a floor press version whereby I'm coming down and actually pausing on the floor every time. So that's allowing me to keep the range of the rep exactly the same every time, but also just make that bottom of the position very safe. I'm able to lock in and then drive from there. I've had shoulder issues in the past, so I found performing any sort of dumbbell or barbell press freely just doesn't do it any good. So uh, that's why this is in the program. So with this next push up, I'm taking this as an opportunity to have a complete reset in terms of execution. Anytime you're starting a new training block or training cycle, just make sure that you ego check yourself a little bit, take a step back so that you can take two steps forward because ultimately where you start that phase is gonna be a representation of where you end up. And if you start off with bad habits, they're only gonna get worse. So 
anytime you start a new program, start a new phase, reset execution, get everything spot on, and then give yourself that good foundation to then work towards. <clears throat> oh, I connected with that so well. Did anyone else get that? It's like a hook hand. You just can't undo them after. I haven't told you the name of the new series. <laughs> Completely forgot to tell you what the name of the series was. That just brought me onto it. If that's not enough of a clue, we're going to be calling this Hooked. Reason being, my name's Hook. I'm Hooked. You're all Hooked. And I want to create a bit of a brand, a bit of a movement around this itself. It, uh, for me, just embodies exactly why I'm doing this, exactly why everyone that's watching this is doing this as well. Ultimately, we all started off as beginners. We all started off really not knowing what we're doing in the gym. We've all got our own stories, but at one point, it just clicked. We fell in love with this process and we were hooked. So there's a little bit of rationale behind the name of this series and maybe a little bit of a project that we're going to be running in the future as well. Ooh. So I'm pretty excited to move house at hopefully the end of this month because the location that I'll be in will be equal distance from Halo as it is to Muscle Works in Orpington. I'm a little bit further away where I'm at now in Thomas Wells, but uh, that means I'm going to be linking up at least one if not two sessions in Orpington per week and That'll bring something new to the series as well. So I'll get Eddie across, we'll be filming in there. A little bit of a different environment, different equipment, and it uh, should be cool. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to. Just wanna be massive. What else can a man ask for? Really big, bulky. Fill out a medium t shirt, it'd be nice. We are done. Episode one of Hooked wrapped up. That was a good session. We've got a lot planned and uh, I can't wait to bring it to you guys. We've got a lot of things changing in the business in terms of Team Pro Coach across the next few months, moving into sort of phase two of our growth. And then we've got phase three launch as of January, 2023. Uh, any coaches watching, stay tuned because I've got something very special coming to you guys in terms of a package and an offer that is going to just improve everything. Improve your own physique, improve your business, improve your brand. That's all I'm going to say for now. All will be revealed. But exciting stuff coming. As always, do all that YouTuber stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.